All right, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for joining us for our exciting webinar. Uh, we have lots to explore today, and we're really excited to share this, uh, this information with you. Uh, first, before we get started, I just want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Joshua Feldman. I'm the group sales manager here for Ford Theater. Um, I'm also joined by one of our group sales associates, Kelsey, who will be uh, manning our questions uh, portion of, of the presentation later uh, in the session. Uh, that being said, make sure to hold all questions till the end of the presentation, and we'll try to answer all in the allotted time. Uh, to better present, we ask that all participants mute their microphones throughout the webinar uh, and question sessions later today. Uh, for your information, we will hold a recorded version of this webinar on our website on Forbes.org slash groups. First, our office handles groups of 10 or more for daytime visits, main stage production, and history on foot walking tours. For all information, you can of course visit us on our website on www.forwards.org slash groups. To go over some benefits that our groups receive, uh, by booking a group to visit Ford Theater, you're immediately eligible for some exciting benefits. Not only do you have access to tickets early before the general public, you're also able to, uh, to be eligible for payment installment plans or pay upfront for your tickets while ordering. We also provide in-depth advice on area restaurants, hotels, attractions uh, that are all in the area. We can also provide some in-depth materials that our education department provides uh, on a routine basis. We have tons and tons of materials throughout, throughout the year to provide for your groups. During today's webinar, we're going to go over how to create an account and access your current accounts. We're also going to go over how to purchase historic site visit tickets. Those are the tickets to visit our historic site. As well as we're going to review our current online and PDF order forms. And then finally, we're also going to go over our exciting new offerings. That being said, uh, how to order tickets and access our current uh, new website. So first, how to access an account. The exciting portion of, of our new website is everybody that has previously ordered tickets or has an account with us, actually use it. you can use your current email address to access our account website. Uh, so you should have all received an email that is directly from our e-newsletter. If not, you should receive one later today uh, that goes over your exact account information, how to access that account, how to log in, using a temporary login. So there should be a link that is directly on that page as well as how to access that account. So that will take you directly to this screen that you see here, and that's how to log into your account. You also have the ability, so the first step to access your account is to unlock that temporary login, so you actually go to that next tab. So I'm going to go back for a second to show you that main screen. So first, it's going to take you to this login page, but you need to actually know which password to, to unlock the account itself. So you will click on the second tab that's at the top that says forgot your password, and type in the email address that you received that email. And after you click email my information, which is just that red button that's towards the middle portion of the page, the system itself will send you an email to access your account using a temporary password. At that point, you can, of course, change that, or if at any point after this process you need that password reset, you can, of course, call our office as well, and we're happy to do that for you. On this page, you also have the ability to create an account. So for those of you that need a login set up or have never purchased tickets with us before, uh, you can, of course, use the create an account function to, to set up an account in our system. The final option or the fourth tab at the top of the page, you can also sign up for our e-news, which is our email newsletter that goes out a few times a month. So the newest addition to our order process is the ability to order tickets via our brand new online order system. This system will go online starting at our first on-sale date tomorrow. Wednesday, July 13th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. On this day, we will go on sale for August and September historic site tickets. Using this new system, groups can book for tickets 10, for groups of 10 to 55 people. 
groups booking multiple reservations and or booking reservations that are for groups of 55 or more are encouraged, are encouraged to book via the, uh, via the other conventional ways, which we're, we're going to go over later today. So the first step in our process is we're going to go right on over to our website. So I'll show that to you right now. So of course, uh, some of you may be familiar with our, our current website that's, that's here. Uh, first step in the process that we recommend going over to uh, is if you go on our Groups at Ailes website, so that's forbes.org slash groups, you're taken to our existing page. And you'll notice a couple of buttons here that we're going to, to touch on later, but this is uh, a slightly updated site where you're able to, to book your groups of 10 to 55. So by clicking on this button, you're taken directly over to our brand new site. So this site uh, is completely updated. It shows you tons and tons of information on this page. And we'll, let's just skim through that together. So towards the top of the page, you'll see what is, is open and on sale and we're advertising to our clients uh, as we speak. So of course, we have our fall production of Come From Away, the pre-Broadway production, uh, as well as we have some historic tickets that are, of course, on sale throughout the year at different times. Right now, we, we are on sale on Ticketmaster uh, until the end of the month for our July visit tickets or uh, July historic visit tickets. And then uh, tomorrow, of course, we will go on sale for August and September tickets. So if we scroll a little bit further down, you will notice that we have our August dates. So you will notice that we have our calendar and events here. So I'm going to show you some September days. And just to show you what that looks like, you'll notice our, our full calendar here is completely updated. So you can scroll through the event calendar here as we go on sale for events and find the schedules and what groups uh, and our visitors are generally able to, to experience on site. Further down on the page, you'll also notice that we have full descriptions and information about all of the content that we offer here on site, whether it's for a historic site visit, our, uh, our Detective McDevitt tours. We do offer some guided tours that are for the general public, unfortunately not available to groups. Uh, but we do have our One Destiny programs. Our main stage production information is all on this page. So you'll notice that Mark Russell, uh, Christmas Carol, who's a friend of Virginia Woolf, and Ragtime we have, we have all for next year. Uh, the last bit of content you, you'll find on the site uh, is, of course, our contact information towards the bottom uh, with information where you can, of course, view CART uh, if you're in the, the middle of a uh, shopping process, or you can, of course, jump right back over to the forge.org site, which will jump back to our, our current site that, that we have right, right now. Uh, so let's, let's just, for all intents and purposes, let's start back on the main site. Uh, so let's pretend we're going back on forge.org slash groups. And we want to book a group that's for 10 to 55. We're going to go ahead and click this link over here, which is going to take you to, again, our brand new site uh, that we went over with all of our content, our new events, and what we have available. The calendar, again, is fully interactive. And you can cycle through all of the events that we have available throughout the year um, uh, that, that we are on sale for. Of course, further down on, on the page, we, of course, have all that programming that we went over and our contact information just at the bottom of the page. So uh, back before we had our technical difficulties, we were checking for August 1st. Um, so let's say we're going to go ahead and purchase tickets for August 1st for this 9 a.m. entry. The first thing that I want to notice before we take over to the next page uh, is, of course, this color coding system that we have going on on this new site. You'll notice that uh, if you notice my, my mouse over in the middle of the screen, you'll notice where the sections each have these four different colors that are color coded. The museum is this green color, the turquoise color is the theater programming itself, and then of course we have the house and center as purple and yellow respectively. A couple of things to notice that are, that are part of here, uh, as the programs change throughout a daily basis as of, of course, our schedules do, uh, the information will actually gray out or just not appear at all. And that is to, to better clarify what programming we have available for our groups. You can, of course, also, before we go further in the purchase process, you can, of course, hit the More button that's over here to learn more about our historic visit programs. And that, of course, tells you more about our, uh, the theater itself, the artifacts on site, 
And of course, it jumps back to our calendar itself. So now you have a chance to order, pro order tickets through a different part of our screen. So let's jump a little bit further in the process, and we'll go ahead and say we want these 9 o'clock tickets that are right here. We're going to go ahead and click tickets, and it's going to take us to the first step in our, in our order process. Now that we've learned all of this information, we're ready to actually add tickets onto our order. First thing I want to show you on this page is just towards the left side. You'll notice this, this interesting uh, module that we have over here that I find is super helpful and I, I really like a lot. Uh, so it, it will actually show you the, the screen itself. It'll show you that on your calendar you selected August 1st. And this, uh, this item over here on the left side is, is a full breakdown of what your group will experience on site. So no matter what you add to, that, to their day that day, it will actually show you their full itinerary and what is recommended for their program. So for this 9 a.m. entry on August 1st, you'll notice that the museum will take a half hour approximately. The theater walkthrough will also take approximately a half hour. The house will take approximately 15 minutes. And then the center will take approximately 45 minutes. And that changes based on the programming. So if you have a ranger talk or a One Destiny program, that program recommended, uh, recommended time frame will change. So for this group, we want to go ahead and purchase 15 tickets for this group. Uh, again, we are now on sale for, we're now able to accept orders that are for orders 10 to 55, and tomorrow we'll go on sale for those August and September tickets. For groups of 55 or more, we do recommend reaching out to our office by the conventional forms that we'll touch uh, on later in, in this presentation. So we're looking for 15 tickets, so we're going to go ahead and click continue just at this bottom of part of the screen. And you'll notice that you're taken to the next part where you're, you go over the actual selections that are, are available for this group on, on site. So it confirms that we've now added 15 tickets for a historic site visit at 9 a.m. on August 1st. We're seeing for approximately two hours the museum, theater, house, and center for a walkthrough. And you'll also notice the option to add on acoustic guides, which are audio tour programs. That is an additional $5 cost per person. So we do have the option to add those on here, or we can actually remove them if we'd like to. You'll notice as we add or remove these acoustic guides, there was a speaker token that was just over here that disappears. So that's just a helpful notification on whether or not you've added on these acoustic guides. For this group, we're not looking to add acoustic guides, and we're just going to go ahead and click Continue. The next screen, uh, you'll notice that the pricing actually changes. For in groups that are less than 10, the ticket price starts at $3 per person. But for groups, for groups of 10 or more, you are eligible for a group discount of $250 as a starting price for our programs. So this program falls under that pricing of $250 per person. You'll notice immediately after you've added 10 or more tickets, 10 to 55 tickets using the site, you'll notice that this part of the screen right here says that you've now qualified for this group discount and a payment plan. On the very next screen after we confirm this info, we'll go over how to add a payment plan to your order. On the screen, you'll notice our shopping cart has confirmed all the information once again that we've previously reserved. We have reserved historic site visit tickets on August 1st at 9 a.m., and that is for $2.50 per person for these 15 tickets. That price is correct and is $37.50 uh, altogether. Let's say we've added these tickets incorrectly. We can, of course, go ahead and click delete here and go back through the purchase process again and add those, those tickets in um, separately. And, and start the process over. But we know that we are, we're looking for the 9 a.m. tickets on August 1st, so we're going to go ahead and click check out here. So from the screen, we've now previously, based on, on the steps in the in the in the presentation earlier today, we've gone over how to log into your account, how to access your account. So we've already reset our password. We already know how to log into the site. So we're going to go ahead and log in here and click login. Let me type in my password. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and pause again, but I, I, we're going to actually go through the forget your password process so that we use this as a teachable moment. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and type in my email address here and click email my information. There we go. So after I've now clicked forgot your password and I've typed in my email address and emailed my information, it now prompts this portion of the screen where it says an email has been sent to my email address with some instructions. I'm going to go into my email. All right, so sorry for that pause for a second. So now that we've completely logged into our account right here, we do notice that there's a couple of different things that the site prompts us for. So immediately up at the top, uh, we do notice that there is a box up here that says a payment plan is available for my order. I do have the option to add on this payment plan and it's going to reload the page if I do add that on. Today we will go over how to add on that payment plan and the steps uh, that, that groups will receive when they order it this way. So on the screen, also if, if we wanted to pay for the order in full, we do have that option. Of course, it is a final sale at that point. And you do have the option to add on how you would like to receive your tickets, where you would like them mailed, and also, of course, add on a donation as well. For today, we want to activate that payment plan, so I'm going to go ahead and click here, which is the button just right here at the top of the page. Excellent. So the next screen looks very similar to the last screen. So now that we've activated the, activated the payment plan, we're going to go through and indicate all of the information that's just below here. So we want to confirm the same information that we previously had. So we want to type in the address. And then it takes us to our checkout page which is the last step in our order process before we get a confirmation. So now it's asking us to review and pay. We want to confirm all the information that we previously had, which is that we're looking for August 1st at 9 a.m. for $2.50 per person for 15 tickets, and that is that total price of $37.50. As we scroll through, we'll notice that we have the option to sign up for our e-newsletter. We would like to sign up for that. We just have to click this button right here. We also have the option to apply a gift certificate. So if you previously purchased a gift certificate or received one, you do have the option to pay using a gift certificate there. The next option that we have here is where we've activated this payment plan. To activate the payment plan, you simply click this button right here and then click Create Payment Plan. By doing both of those two steps, you'll notice a new screen that pops up within the current window that we're in that says exactly that we've added on a payment plan, that it's for $37.50 total, and the amount that's due today, which is $0. Based on our payment policies for all programs, we do not require any money down for this current year. 
the last step is that we want to type in some credit card information. And just as a final confirmation, we do type in this credit card info as a requirement to add on the payment plan. Your credit card will not be charged. It will only be charged for the amount that's in here. So if you do not have the payment plan and you add in the credit card information, it will charge you for that amount. And then the last step is we want to type in the CAPTCHA just at the bottom of the page here. Excellent. So now that we've confirmed our order, we'll, we'll notice a couple of things on the final screen here. The This is the final confirmation process. So the Using the website, we've now gone through each step in our order process. We've added tickets. We've gone through our programming. We've activated the group sales discount because we've added those 15 tickets. We've also activated our payment plan using the click here button. And we've gone through and added in our credit card information, although we won't be charged today. On the screen, you're more than welcome to print this out. But what we will do is in the next seven business days following receiving this order, we'll actually send you one of our formal contracts that uh, you've all seen before, it's our, our standard confirmation and, and contracts. If you paid for it in full, we'll absolutely send a confirmation receipt. And if you've uh, activated that payment plan, you will receive an invoice from us as well. So just to scroll through, you'll notice there's a couple of uh, fields in here that I find are very helpful and is brand new as part of our order process. This order number is actually a confirmation number that you can actually use and is linked to this specific order. Previously, we did not use confirmation numbers because there was no way for us to search for that information. The last couple of steps that you'll see here are your customer account number. This is the account number that you can also reference with our office. And then, of course, we do have the ticket information that's just below here that we've activated the, the payment plan in the total amount. Uh, and, and total amount of due indicates that we have a balance for this order and none has been charged. So with much excitement, that completes our new order process. And we'll, of course, go through the information that, that is all part of our current system. So our current system that we, that we have prior to this new website order system is the ability to use our online or PDF order forms. The online order form is a great way for our groups to quickly request group tickets via our site. You can request any number of tickets and wait up to seven business days to receive word on your order. Brand new to the site, we will have a single use online form as well as a multi-group order form. We also have a PDF order form that is available for single and multi-groups. And both of those also live on our website as well. On occasion, we're also able to accept orders via phone. And we're more than happy to field those uh, using our, our phone number. Before we go through on-sale dates, I just want to show you where these, on, these forms live on our website. So if we go back to our affords.org slash group site, I just want to scan through a couple of the, the places on here that are going to be a great resource for you. So of course we went through the 10 to 55 link to use our, our current, our brand new order system. Uh, but you do also have the option to, to book using the groups of 55 or more button. By clicking this button, it takes you to a new site, which is our conventional online order form that you can absolutely use and wait up to seven business days. You do also have the option to use that brand new multi-group order form that we were just mentioning. And this order form looks very similar to that, that single use order form, but you do also have the option to add on up to four groups. If you do have more than four groups, we do encourage using one of the multi-group PDF order forms that are just towards the bottom of the page, as well as the PDF order form you can absolutely use. Excellent. 
Excellent. So we do have the on-sale dates, and we're happy to announce all of our on-sale dates through the end of the year, uh, which you'll notice just at this page, as well as updated on our website. The next on-sale that we, of course, have, just to reiterate, is tomorrow, that's July 13th, at 2 p.m. We have our August and September historic visit tickets for 2016. Also tomorrow, but at 10 a.m., we go on sale to groups for those historic history on foot investigation detective McDevitt tickets that are for August through October. The next on sales after that are for the rest of our season and then throughout the rest of the fall you'll notice our on sales for the springtime. So this concludes our webinar. Th thank you all for joining us. At this point we're absolutely happy to take any questions. So the first question that we have uh, is uh, coming straight from one of our, our uh, clients uh, asking, do we no longer put programming on our website? Uh, we absolutely will have that information available and we're actually looking into having that available on the site in advance using our brand new site uh, and, and the functionality of, of the website and, and what we have in store for the schedules itself. Um, that being said, we're always happy to send you our schedules. We have a copy of that in Word document form. So we're always happy to send that to you. Our next question is uh, actually a great question. Uh, what if we want to edit the number of tickets? So the website that we have is just for ordering the tickets itself and our order process is, is just for ordering uh, the initial order. Uh, we will keep the order of course in our system on file. So you can always send us an email or call us and we're always happy to add on those tickets for you. Our next question is, is there a limit to the number of login IDs for each company? Uh, using the, the way that we've set up in the system, there is not a limit. We will actually make it so that each person that's part of your company that's ordering tickets has a unique ID. And we're happy to cater it to your company or your clients or uh, or, or what have you to fit your need so that we can best try to, to match what we can offer in the system. And that being said, you can of course give us a call or send us an email. We're happy to go through what the system is capable for, uh, capable of and, and work that out for you. So yeah, so the, the next question is, is an excellent question. Uh, it says, will there be a way to see how many tickets are available at the time of purchase. Um, and that is a, uh, it's, is available. Um, the, the exact number of tickets is, is not available on the site, so you won't see how many tickets are available, but let me jump back here. So if we wanted to see whether or not this entry was sold out for a historic site visit, this will actually gray out. And there will actually be indicators that say whether or not tickets are low on uh, low on availability. So if this entry was sold out, we would be able to, to see it not click this button. It would be completely grayed out. Um, the other thought that's that's part of this is this is live availability. So everything that's on sale through our office and at the box office it changes instantaneously. So you'll be able to to quickly know that as opposed to our current system through Ticketmaster where you won't be able to see that live. So yeah, so the, the, there, there was a question here that was a clarification on the payment plan itself. Uh, we have a report that's set up in our system on the payment plans to, uh, to catch the day of your order. So the second you order tickets online, we'll be able to pull that report and send you an accurate invoice. So the question here was that it, it said in the invoice that the order was due on the day of the visit, uh, which, or two months later. That's just, it's something that we catch in our system and you can completely ignore that information there. We'll send you an accurate invoice within seven business days. So the credit card won't be automatically charged. Uh, we will set up payment plans using our, our current 
payment policies. So if we order these tickets for August 1st, we'll have uh, about a week or so to order to pay for the order using our payment policies. Our payment policy states that the orders, if there's less than two months prior to a daytime visit entry, you'll actually have 10 business days to pay for the order. So we'll have a quick turnaround time to get that invoice out to you and to make sure that it's paid on time. Uh, but we won't use automatic payments. Your credit card will, of course, be linked to the order, but it will not be charged in any way until you authorize that. That will give you some time to change the order, to drop any numbers, and, of course, add tickets. There is a question in terms of group name itself. The, uh, there is not a location to, to add, edit the group name on the site itself, but you can, of course, give us a call with the order number, and we can add that information for you exactly as you need it. So there were a couple of, we had a couple of back-to-back -back questions that were regarding the uh, on-sale date for October itself. Um, so I, let me jump back to the screen. Uh, so the October tickets will go on sale on August 15th at 2 p.m. And that's October through December. So the, there's a question on if we're ordering tickets that are for 55 or more, uh, does it matter if we use the online form or the PDF form or fax it into us? Realistically, we're going to get those order forms by email anyway, any which way you send that over to us. Of course, uh, if you send it by mail, we'll get it by mail, but we re recommend that if you send it by fax or by email or online, it's all going to get to us actually by email. We use an e-fax program. That, uh, that sends it through as an attachment. So it's also by email. Uh, there's also a question in terms of the decreasing number of tickets. So uh, in terms of dropping the numbers, we can of course do that all the way up until the order's due date. So for that August 1st order, we'll assign a due date. That was about, uh, about 10 business days later. So by that due date, you'll have time to decrease the number of tickets. That's standard to our payment policies for the last couple of years. Yeah, so we actually had a great question that uh, we can jump to again that uh, mentions, do you have to use the plus or minus, or can you actually type in the number of tickets, which I think is an excellent question. So let's just go through the purchase process again. We were to add these tickets here. If I wanted to add in any number of tickets, I could use this plus or minus here, or I can actually type in the number. So if I wanted 45 or 50 tickets, it's highly intuitive to, to know what you've typed in there as well. It will stop at 55, so it, we can't go from 55 and, and go up from there. So there, there's a question in, in terms of clarifying the ticket availability and whether or not we have alternative times. You will have the option that if, if a ticketed time, if you go through this process, is sold out or is nearing sold out or sold out at that moment, you will have the option to go back through and grab another ticket time. So of course, you, you can grab those tickets even faster than the three alternative options that, that you, you may have had using the online form. We had a question in terms of mailing of tickets. Uh, our mailing fees are, uh, are still standard. Uh, the $5 mailing fee applies to our history on foot orders as well as our daytime visit orders. And then our $25 FedEx fee applies to our performance tickets. Then we have a question in terms of splitting the group uh, using the system between one group of 50 and another group of 50 since the, the online system has that cap of 55. 
Um, you, you can, of course, split them between two orders. I would highly encourage calling our office so that we can restructure that order for you so that it's all together in one neat place. Uh, but there's nothing stopping you from doing that. <laughs> So I, I think that was our last question. Um, it, of course, if you guys have any other questions, I'm going to leave my contact information just right back up here again. So you can, of course, reach me directly at 202-434-9548. Uh, or, of course, I'll give you a couple of emails. My email address is jfeldman at forwards.org. Or you can reach the group sales office directly at, uh, at one 800 there we go. So you can reach the group sales office at 202-638-2367 or groups at Forbes.org. Uh, our website, of course, is www.forbes.org. And then for group sales, you can do a slash groups at the end. Uh, th thank you all for joining us. Uh, a recorded copy of this webinar will, of course, be available on our group sales site. Again, that's Forbes.org slash groups. Thank you.